Okay. So, um, okay, the Lord's Prayer. So the Lord's Prayer, um, of all the Christian prayers, I mean, Hawkins probably calibrated, I think that was the highest calibrating Christian prayer, the Lord's Prayer. Calibrates very, very high. Calibrates even higher than, than the calibration for the Course in Miracles, which also calibrates at the level of enlightenment, but uh, the, Lord's, uh, the Lord's Prayer at, the high, at a higher level. And um, so doing that, I was really, um, uh, really enthusiastic with the Lord's Prayer and learnt the Lord's Prayer and have used it intuitively. I, I, I think probably I was a Christian in a past life. So intuitively, mm -hmm. there is a thing of using the Lord's Prayer when in extreme distress. Mm. It's like absolute extreme distress. Like when... Uh, when uh, you, basically when your ass is on fire, if that makes mm. sense. Mm. So I have okay. used it. I have used it. I, and uh, I'll just repeat, and I, I think I wrote about this in my book as well, because uh, I've had such miraculous, um, uh, miraculous results from using the Lord's Prayer under extreme. And I've had, it's always delivered. In my mm. experience, it's always delivered like the most astronomical miracles. So... There was a time, and this was like in my early days, uh, this is probably, when was this? This was maybe 13, 14, 15 years ago, in my early days of spiritual work. And I used to get horrific gout attacks where the feet would swell up. But sometimes I'd have really like extreme gout attacks where not just the feet, but like half the body would, would swell up, like the shoulders and the joints and everything. Really horrific mm. types of attacks. I have been landed in hospital with these horrific gout attacks. And anyway, one of these days, um, I had uh, a horrific gout attack and it was in my hand and it had swollen up like a balloon, mm. you know. And when you have a gout attack, it's like the, 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 the skin expands and it's the most excruciating, horrific pain when that happens within a few minutes as it just sort of swells up. Mm -hmm. It's, an, it's ex extremely horrific pain. Mm -hmm. And I was in absolute agony. And I mean, it's definitely impossible that you get to sleep. It was mm. just horrific, horrific agony. And uh, so I was using uh, the Lord's Prayer. I used the Lord's Prayer and I was saying it like a hundred miles an hour. Mm -hmm. You know, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, the kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses and forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Like nonstop with a hundred percent focus because I was in absolute mm -hmm. agony mm -hmm. with this horrific pain. And, you know, you know, I was willing to, you know, it'd be like, with whatever I had, I gave it 100%. Yeah. You know, and uh, so I was doing the Lord's Prayer and uh, it was excruciating agony, like really, really horrific pain. I remember at a certain point, because I didn't want to use painkillers, but at a certain yeah. point I had like a message come in, like take a paracetamol. So I did take a paracetamol, I went to sleep. Anyway, the next day, uh, the next day um, in the morning, mm -hmm. um, I had a phone call from a friend of mine. And uh, she said, oh, Sabir, you know, there's a guy, this was in the early days before I went to a 12-step group. Um, and she said, oh, there's a, there's a guy from America, like a famous nutritionist uh, who's, who's in London. And he's looking for really sick people who've, to, to act as guinea pigs so that they can do their, their, their treatment. It was like blood microscopy and mm -hmm. nutritional therapy. Mm -hmm. I said, he's looking for sick people. Do you, do you, you know, and she knew I was really ill. Yeah, I had kidney failure at the time. Said, "I'll drive you there." So I said, uh, "She's she's a lovely she's a lovely uh, lady." And uh, so she came and picked me up, and I was in this horrific pain. And they took mm -hmm. me to the to the nutritional after I'd been praying like nonstop. Mm -hmm. The thing she took me to the thing, and it was this guy. He was uh, talking about like grass supplements and and various green powders and, and all and organic foods and everything. And he took me to this hotel. And there's a whole, um, there was a whole, um, uh, they were doing this, like, this international uh, uh, sort of blood microscopy nutritional thing mm -hmm. in there. And all the students had paid thousands of pounds to go there. And they were just getting these sick people mm -hmm. to take, uh, to, you know, to go up so that they could treat them. And, and um, I showed them my hand, which was like puffed up. It was really, really horrific. And mm -hmm. everyone was like absolutely horrified when they saw my hand mm. and they were all like taking photos of my hand you know because it was so grotesque you know and mm. there was a lovely lady that one of his um, staff 
And she, she said, oh, we should use him for a testimonial, she said to, to, the, to the doctor leading it. Mm -hmm. um, and, he's, and he agreed. And then they said, okay, well, in that case, uh, we, uh, we're happy to pay for you for, to stay in the hotel. And uh, well, you know, uh, you know, in the, in the hotel, if you want, and we'll give you all the supplements and all the food paid for, organic, everything for free. Uh, <laughs> and and then, yeah. and also, we want to have you as a living testimonial. So we'll provide you with free supplements for a year. Oh. Uh, uh, everything you want shipped from America, uh, so that we can look after you, look Lord. after you. And there was like alkalizing stuff. For a year. For a, for a, yes. It was yes. over. It was a, yeah, oh, over yeah. a year. Wow. I'd have like thousands. Of, well, literally, wow. these these tubs would so cost like the, the right, like oh, the yeah. time. At, I'm not mentioning his name, but it was like eighty yeah, yeah, pounds yeah, a tub. Yeah. Oh, eighty wow. pounds a tub for some grass and then clay, yes. yeah. and then so alkalizing drops, so and the then organic yeah, organic uh, you know avocados and everything. Wow. So they gave me. Amazing. So they're giving me. They're giving me all of this stuff. <laughs> You know, I went in there, and they're giving me all this stuff. And within four days, and I was, I was staying there in the hotel, and they were get, yeah. having my organic meals. Mm. And, they were looking, and, they were, <laughs> <laughs> and within four days, it had gone. Really? It had wow. completely gone, and it was, there was no pain. And then I had the free, like, from America, like, all these, you know, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of pounds worth of free supplements sent to me. And that was after <laughs> doing the Lord's Prayer. And it was like, that was like, I prayed my ass off. And then within, mm -hmm. I got like a hotel, like stuff within four days, it was completely gone. I had free stuff for a year. That's that was like, that's what happened uh, with the Lord's Prayer. Yeah. That was, that was, uh, that was, uh, that was one. And the other one was a, a wow. more uh, recent one, mm -hmm. and where I had a kidney transplant operation. And again, um, I was, um, I was adamant that after the, after the general anesthetic when I came out, I would take no painkillers and just, you know, the, the transplant, as yeah, probably some people know, is a huge cut across the abdomen when they stick in a kidney. And I'd say, when I said I would refuse all painkillers afterwards and take the pain and deal with it spiritually. And it was really, I mean, it is a horrific pain. It is mm -hmm. like someone had just left a, kitchen, a huge kitchen knife in your stomach. That's what it feels like. Very, very intense pain. Yeah, we're on camera, but you can speak. Yeah. I was just wondering, yeah. why, why would you... I prefer to take the pain. Oh, yeah, great question. Thank you. Thank you for asking that question. Um, my, my teacher, Dr. David R. Hawkins, has a, has a great, uh, a great uh, video on he healing. Where, and he was uh, allergic to anesthetics anyway. So whenever he, he, cut, his, he cut his thumb off, while he was, he was like in the, I don't know, in, in the backyard or whatever, with an electric saw, by mistake, he cut he cut his thumb off, and he's allergic to um, uh, anesthetics. So they had to take him to hospital. And uh, when the when the doctors said, oh, we, you know, we can give you like anesthetic, he said, no, uh, I, I'm allergic to anesthetic, so I don't give you anesthetic. But well, he said, don't worry about it, I'll deal with it. So they, you know, they were uh, they were sort of uh, doing the surgery on him, and he had to just rely on spiritual tools. Uh, to go through that, and he did the thing of which I describe in many videos of feel the feelings. Mm -hmm. But you, when you're in those kind of situations, you have to be 100% there. You can't resist, mm -hmm. you know. And he he did it 100% without resisting, and uh, and he went into a, like a heavenly heavenly bliss, you know, when they did it. So if you do 100% feel the feelings and don't resist at all. Remember, if you don't resist, you don't experience. But mm -hmm. you have to be very, you have to be on, the, yes. really on your game, and, and quite practice to be able to do that. So I knew he could do that. I had, I don't know whether it was before or after this one, but I had, a, I had experiences when I had to have emergency treatment, where I was about to have a heart attack with a huge needle, where I, I didn't resist, I didn't resist uh, the needle going in, and I went off into like a heavenly. I was going losing consciousness, going in a bit. So. I knew it was a great opportunity to transcend pain okay. and not to use or numb out in any way. Mm. So anything, you can, you can transcend anything, but you have to go through and not use anything. So those moments are opportunities? They're, they're extreme. And you, can, and you can jump up in consciousness. Mm. You can make huge elevations in, 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 you know, you'd have no fear and you could, you could go into bliss. 
even as someone was like stabbing me in the heart, you see. So they're great opportunities for me. And I was like adamant, like if my teacher, and I met my teacher, and he can, do, he can go through operations, and surely I can just uh, go through that. But it was excruciating pain. And it was so excruciating. I, I did feel the feelings, but it was still very, very intense with feel the feelings. Mm -hmm. um, at a very, very high intensity. So I started doing the Lord's Prayer. Mm -hmm. Started doing the Lord's Prayer. And then after doing the Lord's Prayer for a while, something just popped into my head. It was like a message. <clears throat> And I was doing it very, very intensely because it's excruciating. Yeah. Can I ask what's the Lord's Prayer again exactly? Because you said it so fast. Yes. <clears throat> how, how does it go exactly? Uh, this is the way I say it. <clears throat> There's a few ways you can say it. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Mm. Lead us not into temptation and deliver us from mm. evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay. Right. And that's the way I do it. And, uh, but I was doing it 100 miles an hour um, because I was in excruciating agony. And Why is this really important to me? Uh, it's, it, it's an intuitive thing. And like, I'm not going to say it like at half a mile an hour because it's like, so, it's like you've got a, a knife plunged okay. into you yeah. and it's like, okay. it's like, God, get me out of here yes. and yes. I'm going to call you like 100% yeah, yeah. with 100% oh, yeah. of it. Okay. Vigorous. I mean, there is there is nothing else. It's like yeah, yeah. absolute yeah. intensity. Yeah, yeah. I've had and that it's in like the hospital. It just keeps me so glued yeah. to that yeah. that there's no space for my mind to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's yeah. really 100% I was doing it. Yeah. And yeah. The, the message that came in was, I had like Muji, my, a Muji on, on my headphones. Yeah. And the message came on was, listen to, listen to your Muji. So I put the headphones in and he was saying, what's observing? What's the observer? And I went to the observer of the pain, and I lost consciousness. I went to sleep yeah. as I went to that. Which, what is witnessing the pain? He wasn't saying that, but I just interpreted it. What's witnessing the pain? And I went into the observer, and then I had some sleep, and then I woke up, and the intensity had, had gone down dramatically. So it took about, uh, it took a, a good sort of 15 hours or so, but I did get some sleep. And the doctor said, and this is the thing I wanted to answer, because I knew it already that you heal very rapidly uh, when, when you don't use anything, when you don't use anything. And I got up, because um, and several people had, had a transplant. I was the first one to recover and get out, and the doctor recognized it. The consultant sort of said, ah, oh, you didn't take any painkillers. And, and, uh, and, uh, and he saw that I got up and I had a really miraculous healing. You know, I had a miraculous healing. And what I intuited, which is really thing, is if you don't disconnect from God, when you go through very intense things, you're looked after properly, uh, if that makes sense, because you don't lose your connection. So it's like everything goes well. You heal rapidly. It's like, uh, and, and there's no complications because you didn't like fuzz out of your, of your conscious contact and use something to escape. So I healed really rapidly and it went perfectly and the doctors were impressed at the rapid, rapidity of my healing. And uh, so those were things. So, that, so I know that it works really, really well. I mean, I, yeah. Sorry, yes, it makes so much sense what you're saying. I've heard many people before uh, talking about being in certain um, limits, uh, certain experiences that are very... Um, you know, near like near death or something, and pulls them to this mindfulness, yes, to the presence so strongly, mm -hmm. they are that they get connected with God, yes, yeah, you know, yeah. that and some even say I had to go through that so I could uh, get connected with God in the middle of the Everest or in the middle mm -hmm. because pain is actually a very uh, strong. Connector to mi to mindfulness to presence. Right? Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. got You got to get it, or otherwise you suffer horrifically. Yeah. And I and I remember, you know, I think as well. I think pain has definitely been the one that's done me. But I, I remember Hawkins um, mm -hmm. uh, saying, um, and he calibrated. He had access to muscle testing. Like this lady went up in a tornado. Mm -hmm. She went up in in a tornado, mm -hmm. and she completely <laughs> surrendered. 
uh, when she when she was taken up in a tornado, mm. and she went into like a heavenly. It was I think it was it was reporting it was in the paper. She went into a heavenly peace, a sublime peace, oh. and then she was put down on a haystack, and it was yeah. it was it was, it was reported, and uh, and then he, he he calibrated, and she she was at the level, you know, of enlightenment. She went into heavenly, absolute heavenly stillness, and and it was quite funny that the universe put her down on a haystack. Oh. So it's like as you completely surrender your life to God, because oh. you've just been taken up in tornado. It's like suddenly the whole universe just. Puts mm. you nicely on a on a haystack, yeah. and that was the thing with me. And you know, like getting those bit of pre bit free supplements for a year. Yeah. You know? oh, that's, that's amazing. That that story is crazy. I the, I when I went to a hospital because of food addiction, what happened? And it happened um, other times before in my life, but I didn't have the conscious the consciousness to to understand it a little bit. Is just this moment of humility. Yes. That yeah. comes with it. Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, when you're on that moment, when you're having seizures, you think you're gonna die or whatever. A, a big part of your baggage, a big part of your fear of the future, you're thinking about the past, it just goes out the window, and you're just there. And after it, I I, I got so humbled. <laughs> I was in the, I was in the in bed, and I was I had I, I there's there's nothing that I need or want. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go through that again. <laughs> I prefer to do it through meditation, but oh, it's God's plan. No, I think I think I think you know um, my sort of view is everything that I haven't transcended will come up most likely in this lifetime. Mm. So either I'm going to like numb out, oh. you know, I might have a donut over it or something, <laughs> or or I have to like transcend it. That's why I really wanted to take the pain without using anything, TV or donuts or... Mm -hmm. I don't take drugs or alcohol, but you know, it could have been drugs or alcohol. Mm -hmm. You know, just take, take it and, and go through. And I think these... Um, yeah. Feel it, so feel it. To, to, yeah. yeah, and you, you transcend it, you see. Your consciousness yeah. then has the capacity to deal with it. Because it's only like resistance. Yes. Only resistance. Yeah. The ego is the resistance to God. Mm -hmm. The ego is the resistance to God. So Edging any God out. yes. So the ego. Yeah. Anything yes. that you suffer with your ego, if you just go through it and connect to God at a higher level, you've like transcended that. Mm -hmm. So they become, you know. So I think it's it's great things. And obviously, that's how people who have near death experiences lose the fear of death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. um, and you know, and if you can go through like surgery pain. Yeah. And not then you you transcend the fear of pain mm -hmm. as well. Otherwise, you're just going to be like, oh, uh, I'm going to go have surgery. Let me make sure I've got a bottle of whiskey and a few donuts to hand to make sure I get through it. Um, so I think yeah, they're great opportunities. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.